I'll move to the darker egg next. Now that the values in my painting are getting closer to the ones in the reference, it's easier to see which values need to be adjusted. Here, for example, the left side of the egg should be a bit lighter. And since it's supposed to match the value of the shadow on the white egg, I'm going to try starting with second value. I know it seems light, but only because I'm painting over an area that's actually too dark, and it needs a gradient to fit into the rest of the image. So I'll pick up some third value to start incrementally introducing darker values to begin that transition. Also notice that the range of values in the gradient on the white egg's shadow is the same range of values in the brown egg's light and halftones. I have to introduce a darker value on this side because it starts to gradate into the shadow. I'm switching back to my half inch angular shader to soften the brush strokes out of the blending I just did, again using the dry brush technique I explained a moment ago. Okay, I'll move to the shadow next. Remember, this isn't black, it's somewhere between fourth and fifth value. And once the shadow is in, start blending where the two values meet. I'm still using a half inch angular shader, by the way. I think that looks good. The outer edge of the egg needs to be cleaned up a bit, so I'm going to paint it some third and a half value around it. And this part of the shadow is fifth value, so make sure your paint is very diluted. Okay, now for the tricky part. I have to put down some paint for the light value on the egg, but in this case, it's a gradient. So I'm going to choose the average tone, which I think is around second and a half value. So I'll start there and see how that looks. It looks a bit light, but take into account that it's going to get darker when I blend the black from the shadow into it. Watch carefully. And I've switched to a quarter inch angular shader for this blend because it's relatively small.
This gradient still needs to be softer and a bit wider. I think that's a bit too light. I'm going to soften the shadow into the rest of the egg to avoid leaving behind any uneven blending. Again, to soften my blending over this whole area, I'm going to use the dry brush technique I showed you earlier. And I want to make sure everybody gets this because it's an extremely useful technique. First, clean and dry your brush off completely. Then softly brush over the area, reducing the pressure you normally use to only about 30%. Okay, that looks good. Let it dry and we'll move on to the detail coat.